today we're going to be checking out the brand new Inkbird IBT26S. And if you're in the market for an awesome barbecue thermometer that's loaded with tech, this is definitely one to check out. And you're going to want to stay and watch this one because not only do we have one to review, we also have one to give away. So stay tuned for that. So now let's unbox this and see what's inside. All right, let's get to unboxing. Here is the Inkbird IBT26S. And this is the first barbecue thermometer, at least I know of, that supports 5G wireless and also Bluetooth 5.1. So the first thing we have is the instruction manual here. So here is the device itself. Very, very lightweight. And it has this uh, almost like this champagne gold bevel around it. This is the most satisfying feeling right here. Ooh. You have six ports in here. There was one time I did a barbecue and I had 12 tomahawks on the smoker. And in theory, two of these could have covered and each one of them could have had their own probe. So this would have come in handy back then. Previous generations I've had had four and it's in a sleek compact unit. So it's definitely not bulky. So it comes with some barbecue clamps. So inside here is going to be a charging cable. This is going to be a USB-C cable to charge the Inkbird device. And then you have probes galore. Inside the instruction manual, there is a QR code and it's going to link up to the app. So we're going to hit get. All right. And so now we are signed in. And so we are going to add a device and we're going to scroll until we see the IBT26S, device is turned on, we're going to hit next. So I found it, now it's saying to press the pairing button. So right now the device is pairing. And now we are connected. This is where we can actually change it to read oh, Fahrenheit versus Celsius. It does show we have one probe connected in here. And immediately, if we start raising the temperature on it, and you're updated instantly on the app. Here, there's a little thermometer. And inside here, you have so much options as far as what you actually want to do. So we're gonna click on beef, and then we can do some temperature things. Oh, you know what? Alert me when it hits medium rare, or I like my steak medium. Or you can do custom. So inside here, you could say, hey, I'm going to do a reverse here, so let me know at 115 degrees once this is ready. And so all you have to do is hit setup, and if this was actually plugged into a stake, it would say, okay, your internal temperature right now is 81, and it will send me a notification once it actually reaches the set temperature of what you want. I can plug in another temperature probe here, and then instantly it shows up on the app. Very, very simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge up this device and let's take it out in the field and actually let's do a cook with it. All right, we got the smoker fired up. We have the Inkbird charged up. Today we are going to be doing plate ribs, also known as dino ribs. And this is as good as it gets. Look at the marbling on these ribs. And we're really going to be relying on the Inkbird meat thermometer to let us know our internal temperatures so we know right when it's ready and ready to pull and ready to rest. So let's go season the meat. For the rub, we're gonna be using two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of freshly cracked coarse ground black pepper, one tablespoon of granulated garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of mustard powder. All right, let's go season these ribs. I'm just gonna pat that in. The front side is where we're really gonna wanna focus. And you don't wanna forget the sides. Looks good, let's get this on to the smoker. So underneath the dino ribs, I have a water pan. That's gonna help 
collect the drippings and it's also going to help the steam process which is going to help the smoke bind to the meat. So now I'm going to run my food probes. Probably run a food probe right here and that's going to help us get the internal temperature of the smoker. All right, so first probe, I'm gonna come in through the side right here. And for the second probe, leave it right there. And you don't want it touching the meat just because that's gonna throw off the temperature. But now that we have that set up, we're gonna close the lid. We are aiming for an internal temperature for 203. And now we're going to, the other one is the smoker temp. So I'm going to set it to smoke. We're going to do a custom range. I really don't want it to fall below 200. For the top range, really don't want it to go above 300. For pellets, I am running hickory. And so this cook is going to run for the first three hours. I'm going to do a low temperature. Right now it's about 225. I just want a lot of smoke to hit that beef rib at the three hour mark we are going to raise the temperature up at 275 degrees, and that's going to be the remaining temperature for the rest of the cook, and every hour we're gonna spritz down. But for the first three hours, I really don't like spritzing just because we really want that seasoning and rub that we made to really stick and start binding to the meat. If you are interested in the Inkbird, I will put a link in the description so you can go check it out on Amazon, but right now we're just gonna have this thing bathing in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm getting smoked out. Right, it's been three hours. Let's check on the meat. And mind you, the alarm will go off just because all that heat is now escaping from the smoker. So you're going to hear the ink bird. See, there's the alarm, which is handy. Your smoker runs out of fuel. All right, let's close her up. Now let's talk about the giveaway on how you can get one of these in your hands. Very easy. Just subscribe to this YouTube channel, then head over to Instagram. Make sure you're following my Instagram, Inkbird's Instagram. So on my Instagram page, you're going to find a photo of this Inkbird device. And in the comment section, type in Inkbird Rocks. In about a week, we're going to go through and pick one of those comments to win one of these. So you're definitely gonna to want to enter because this is an awesome, awesome unit. All right, let's go check this out. Oh, beautiful. Oh man. All right, I'm also gonna be putting on some fat trimmings. This was fat trimmings that I took off the dino ribs. And so we're gonna let that we're gonna make some beef tallow with this, so that's gonna help us at the end of the cook. Seven hours later. All right, we are done, and now what we're doing is we're checking for probe tenderness. So basically, if you can take your thermometer and you're just poking it in and out, see how there's no resistance when pulling it back in and out? That means they are probe tender. So now let's get this fat off the smoker and we're going to strain it right now. So basically I have a mason jar, we have a napkin that's wrapped around and there's kind of like an indent inside. And so now we're going to take this liquid, we're going to pour it on top. And then what's going to drip down in this jar is pure rendered beautiful beef tallow. It's going to be amazing. So now we're gonna rest our ribs. So I just have some butcher paper. We're going to put some beef tallow. Our beautiful tallow and drip it right here on top. So as it's resting, it's just gonna soak up all that goodness. So something cool I wanna point out about the new probes is because these are aluminum, they actually didn't change in color Whereas the ones in the past, they'd be kind of like plastic right here, and instantly they'd get so dark, you really can't tell what color they are. But with these, definitely, I still know which color is which. Even All right, it's been an hour. Woo! Uh, ooh. Look at that. Consistent, 
perfect results every single time, you got to get yourself an ink bird, that's for sure. I'm in here for taste test. Diner ribs seem like a intimidating cook, but having a trusty meat thermometer, it helped gets the job done. Perfect results every time. Do enter to win one of these ink birds. They are so awesome. A great tool to have in the arsenal. I will leave the link to Amazon so you can check it out. Me and my family are going to go inside and going to be eating good. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Grill Sergeant out.